Hello and howdy guys, this is Animaro and welcome to Sign Codes. Today we'll be going through the second part of the creating an RTS game inside of Godot series and jumping into Godot, we see that I've changed a lot and this is because uh, my first project got corrupted and I have to rebuild everything from scratch. So only thing that I've actually changed is I've locked these two layers so that they are not movable. And the building has been modified so as it is easy to move around. You can set it up pretty quickly. Just watch some basic tutorials to do that. And now we'll be adding some smooth movements inside of a uh, camera movement script. So to do that, uh, yeah, I think I've removed the plus icon from here. Uh, so remove that and add the lerp script or lerp function. And position dot x comma position dot x plus input x into speed and we can say speed into delta so this is a simple expression that will provide us with smooth movement uh, for a camera so just make sure it's completely set up and go to camera 2D and increase the speed. I've already done that. So let's run the game and see the movement. So it's much smoother now. So that's how you set up smooth camera movement. Now for the zoom, uh, zoom effect for the camera, what we need is to use the zoom property zoom dot x equal to again i'm going to be using the lerp function from zoom dot x to zoom dot x into zoom factor comma and now i'm going to be using zoom speed into delta now let's just copy and paste it for the y value and let's just quickly create the variables that we'll be needing and just get rid of these and make it full screen you can use the shortcut key control shift f1 to toggle this full screen mode i'm going to be using export war zoom speed equal to 10.0 and another export well zoom margin equal to 0 0.1 and where zoom pause equal to vector 2 and where zoom factor equal to 1.0 these are all the variables that we'll be needing to create a zoom effect so now let's quickly use the function input and check if the event is an input event mouse button and if event dot is pressed so this will tell us if there's a mouse button event and if it is pressed so we can finally check event dot button index equal to event dot button index equal to button wheel up let me just create some space over here button and if this was to be the case we can set the zoom factor equal to or 
minus equals 0 0.01 we can set the zoom position equal to get global mouse position now just copy and paste this whole code block and change the up to down and the minus to plus so this is the code that we're going to be using to get if the mouse wheel is going up or down and then to check if if our mouse cursor moves or not we're going to say zoom pause of x minus equals uh, minus get global mouse position that x is greater than zoom margin and if that's the case then zoom factor is equal to uh, 1.0 so that's simple and let's just copy and paste it for the y-axis now if we just run the game and see our implementation then we can see a serious flaw the serious flaw in our implementation is the fact that if the mouse is at a single position then well it will just be at that position and other than that we are zooming into the top left corner of the screen it is not what we'll expect so to fix the second problem we're just going to set the anchor mode to drag center in the camera 2d and hit ok or and the problem with the second one is that the event is only fired up when the position of anything or some kind of an input is given so uh, with, I'm not been able to find any workarounds around it so if you know of any you can just put it down in the comments section or well something like that now other than that let's probably think of what else should we do or we can just test out everything that we have so far and we have a very big problem and what's that the movement speed is not being figured accordingly with the zoom so what we can do is just go and multiply it with zoom dot x and multiply this with zoom dot y and now if we hit play and zoom in we can see that if we are zoomed in we move much slower compared to when we are zoomed out as you can see so with that fixed there's a full other problem also that we need to see on starting the game we can see that if we hit zoom we will just go and keep on zooming in infinitely which we don't want so we need to clamp the zoom values and to do that we need to take zoom min equal to 0 0.2 or let's just say 0 0.25 and let's just quickly create zoom max which will be 1.5 or something like uh, let's just say 3.0 will be the zoom max value and now we need to clamp the zoom values so we can say zoom dot x equal to clamp 
zoom.x to zoom min and zoom max and just copy and paste it and use it for the y values as well and now we have limited the amount to which we will be zooming and we cannot zoom further but as you can see this is also too much so we can just quickly go and reset it inside our camera 2d and increase uh, the zoom min to 0 0.5 and that should be enough I suppose let's see and yes it's quite fine so this is the end of this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll be starting with creating selectable objects selecting them giving them selection uh, selection building world managers unit managers and so on and so forth so if you want to see me continue this tutorial please like and subscribe and hit that bell notification icon if you want to Stay tuned with my new